directory with manualtherapist.com. So I have, uh, I often get asked, how do I market to dentists or how, do, how did I build, um, you know, 50% of a TMD practice? And I think one of the things is you got to speak their language, and you do learn that a lot from uh, Dr. Roccobato's courses. Uh, but, but the simplest thing, and I teach this very simple screen to uh, neurologists, to dentists, and to uh, EMTs, which I think a lot of physical therapists or chiros don't think to market to, uh, because they do see a lot of people with ear pain. Um, and uh, sometimes sinus issues, what they perceive to be sinus issues, but it's really cervicogenic or, uh, and or the, the TMJ. So it's almost like a CPR, only it's not really been validated, but I think that if, if, uh, if they can replicate a very quick screen, uh, then if they have any of these things in any combination, like two or three of these things, I basically say refer out to me. So the first one would just be some suboccipital tenderness. And a patient has unilateral headache, especially if it's more tender on the one side, just they can do a quick palpation. Is that tender? Yes or no? Uh, do they have any kind of mobility issues? I teach them that they should easily be able to look over their shoulder. Um, chin should go to the chest and forehead should be parallel to the ceiling. So if, if that's either limited or it hurts, that's also a, a, a true. So chin all the way down to the chest. So make sure that they should be able to touch chin to chest without opening, he would have to open and look all the way up forward and backward, and that's pretty good there. Just quick cervical screen, go ahead and rotate all the way to the left, rotate all the way to the right. So any gross limitations with that? And if they just open and close, and if there's a, either pain and or a click, and a click can be non-painful, and a lot of dentists don't, don't necessarily realize that uh, it's not no pain, no patient, it shouldn't click. It sh every joint should be friction-free and sound-free. So uh, if, even if there's a painful uh, or non-painful click, that's also uh, something else they should refer out. So just go ahead and open and close. So you're looking for either a painful or non-painful click or even a, a deviation, which would be moving away from midline and then coming back to midline with opening and then deviating away again. And, um, so that would be more of what they call an S-curve, even though I think it looks more like a C. Or um, a deflection, which the further away you open, or the further you open, the more it uh, deflects away from midline, and then it doesn't return to midline until you close. So deviation would be uh, returns to midline during depression and goes away during elevation and then returns again to midline. So basically, uh, if they are missing cervical motion, if they have pain of palpation in the subcranial space, or even a TMJ, and a painful or non-painful click or deviation of motion. And it's, again, something you can usually teach is like a one-minute screen to ENTs, dentists, and neurologists, and I get a lot of patients happening.